What's up guys mga kabaro? Welcome back to my channel, your mate Chillard again. It's been a long time guys since I made a video. So I've been missing you guys. And for today's video, I'm gonna show you what are the bridge equipments, daily check and test. And for the next time also, there will be a weekly and monthly test. So enjoy the video for today guys. Just sit back and relax. So guys, mga kabaro, this is our bridge daily test and checklist. So these are all the lists which need to be completed each day at noon by bridge watch officer when at sea. So the first equipment is gyro compass, magnetic compass, bridge and engine room telegraph, RPM indicator, rudder angle indicator, sailing console, wing bridge, Bridge telephones, clocks and chronometers, ship's whistles, not in reduced visibility or close proximity to the other vessels, ship's heading and position noted on course recorder if fitted, navigational lights, AIS, voyage data recorder, BDR, bridge navigation watch alarm system, BNWAS, autopilot off course alarm auto and manual test, steering gear motor, water and grease detection system, radar ARPA, ECDIS ANP and EBCS management system, daylight signal light, GPS, echo sounder, speed lag, GMDSS equipment, VHF, MFHF, NRSAT C, fire detection system and other checks to be expanded by master and navigation officer so the deficiency and actions to be taken and comments you can write here so guys this is the company checklist so every vessel have different checklist so for now we will follow this checklist in this company and check every equipment and test every noon so let's start with the gyro compass so this is our gyro compass unit gyro compass number one and number two so the difference guys as you can see there's a uh, one degrees difference each uh, gyro compass so we use this uh, gyro compass number two for our auto steering so as you can see here it is set up here in this uh, funnel unit not so visible it is uh, number two now here and then here you can check directly here in your auto steering it is now 249.2 so the auto steering is uh, set up to 249 so no any problem guys uh, as you can see here the heading is a uh, 249.2 now 249 and then in the s-band 249.4 so it, 0.3 so the vessel is uh, moving so that's why the heading also changing so also here, you can check in the X-band and slave uh, like this. So this is the X-band 249.2, and then the like this 249.5. Gyro compass is okay. Everything is in good condition. No any problem. So we need to check this one. Anyway guys, you can also check the gyro compass and the wing. So if it is uh, synchronized. So this is our gyro compass on the wing. So 
so I need to open this is our gyro compass repeater and starboard side so as you can see now the heading is a uh, 247 248.8 uh, it's almost 249 so it's, to make it tight so that it will not be take out by the wind so next will be in our port side You can also check also the lights of this one guys but now it is a uh, noon time so light is not so visible so here our repeater as you can see now heading 249 it is the same in our gyro compass that we use the gyro compass number 2 so this is uh, the dimmer light now I switch up and if you check this one now noon time not visible so just close this one again So our center repeater here inside the bridge we can adjust the light here As you can see 2.9 so it is the same with the gyro compass number 2 so gyro compass we need to check next magnetic compass so as you can see our magnetic compass is visible here we just need to check the lights and the uh, difference between the gyro compass and magnetic compass so we will zoom this in so that you will see there so as you can see guys the light is working and uh, now the direction this is uh, 267 265 This compass is 265 Well the gyro is 248.8 So you need to get the variation and division so that you can solve the difference between the Magnetic compass and gyro compass 
the magnetic error and gyro error. So guys, you can uh, view that in my next vlog. But today, we we'll just focus on the checklist. Magnetic compass, all are good working condition. No any busted lights. Check this one. And next, bridge in engine room telegraph. So this is our bridge telegraph guys, which is now protected by this box so that you cannot push this one accidentally. And then the, as you can see, no any alarm and the RPM is set up to 50. So everything is okay guys. Bridge and engine room telegraph all working well. No any defects. Check and next RPM indicator, rather angle indicator, sailing console, wing bridge. The RPM indicator is also written here. So now RPM is synchronized 50 RPM into the bridge console. RPM So this is our RPM indicator in the in the ceiling guys So now it is set up to 50 and next to the bridge wing See guys, this is our RPM indicator in the starboard side wing, and next will be on our port side. This is our port side indicator guys. RPM indicator. You can also check the rudder angle indicator. So rudder angle indicator is uh, here on the sailing. Now uh, is a little bit in port side because now it is in auto mode and also we can check in the bridge wing the rudder angle indicator so guys this is our rudder angle indicator and the port side bridge wing so as you can see now the rudder is a little bit in port side because now it's in auto mode so we can check also on the starboard side guys rudder angle indicator and uh, we need to open the canvas which is uh, protecting the rudder angle indicator Here we are in the starboard rudder angle indicator. I need to open again. So guys, this is our rudder angle indicator in the starboard side wing. So it is the same on the inside. So let's check 
the checklist RPM indicator and rudder angle indicators sailing console and wind brakes all are working well no any defects next will be the bridge telephones this is our bridge telephone so this is uh, here the normal telephone here that we use in the bridge and this is the emergency telephone so you can check this one uh, when somebody is on the other side you can call or either they will uh, call you and also the ringtone you can uh, check the ringtone and also this one but anyway if there's any problem in the ship's telephone it will uh, make an alarm here on our alarm console so this is our alarm for the auto telephone so abnormal alarm so any alarm on the telephone will uh, be uh, here on, on the bridge and this one will be flash and some uh, buzzer buzzer so it will uh, make a very loud noise bridge telephones all are good condition check so guys mga kabaro, that is the part 1 of our video, bridge delete test and check. I hope you enjoy and learn something from the video guys. Continue to watch the part 2. Until next time guys mga kabaro, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And hit the notification bell for my new videos. So guys mga kabaro, keep safe and safe voyage. Rock and roll si Mandoloyal!